Welcome back friends, followers and transients to Banished with me, Vapor. And I thought I would load the game in this view because most of you won't ever see the game this way, not unless you fiddle around with things. Um, as soon as I move the camera, I believe it will go back to normal. But um, if you've not really been paying attention much to the, uh, to the thumbnails for some of these episodes, you may not have seen this view. I think, if, yeah, as long as I don't kind of move up and down we can kind of stay in this view for a little while but it's just such a different perspective on the game isn't it it's uh it's interesting and everything seems to work back to front so left goes right and right goes left but yeah i think it is fantastic but i'm pretty sure as soon as i scroll there we go <laughs> if you are back to normal i would play the game that way and leave it that way but like i say because the controls are all like I'm going to say arse back to front for a lack of a better way of putting it. Um, yeah, it's not great. So, um, it's been a couple of days, I think, since I last did an episode. Purely because I don't want to burn myself out on it. So sometimes it's nice just to take a day just to read your comments and uh, see what you guys think. And then kind of stew on things and think, actually, do you know what? I know what I'm going to do in this episode. And one of the first things I'm going to do, hopefully, let's unpause the game. And I've just pushed um, key 1 to slow the game down. I wish there was a shortcut for the speed in this game. I mean, there is if you have that menu open, but yeah. Um, it was mentioned to put um, like an overgrown garden. Because there's always one, and there is always one person with a messy garden. And it wouldn't be me. <laughs> well, you know, well. I don't really have a garden. So it, it's quite easy to, to keep it under control. I have a driveway. <laughs> so yeah, much easier. Um, I don't think we should really be using these ones particularly. But I'm not sure. The ones that I want to use these, I don't think they'll... Oh, they will work. I wasn't sure if they would or not because... I didn't realise if they were ghost items or not. But clearly they are. They're, I can't remember where it is. Somewhere in the game... And I've used them, I think, in the last series. Can I see any? There is, like, a... There's a plant you can put down. See, I mean, these are in the game. But it looks like um, ivy, almost. And it just kind of sprawls out across the ground. This stuff. And I can't find it anywhere in here. And I know it's here somewhere. If anyone knows where that is, let me know. Because I really, really love that. And I'd love to be able to place that down in place. Like, here would be, like, a perfect place. Um, to put that, but yeah, unfortunately, we can't, because I don't know where it is, I've looked through and, and gone over and over and over, but I just, no, I can't find it anywhere, and it, and it's becoming mildly frustrating, to say the least, um, where did we leave the, because it was tufts of grass, wasn't it, which one was it under, so many options, so many things we can use, Where is it? Oh, have I lost my mind well and truly? I was looking at them the other day. I don't even know. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is this is gonna be one of those one of those days I think. I've just recorded another episode of another game and um yeah, my brain wasn't like firing in all cylinders at that point. I kinda like those actually though. And these. I need the grass. I can't remember where it is, though. I, I don't know why I'm losing things. I guess, to be honest with you, there's so many options in here now. With so many different things you can actually build. It's not surprising that sometimes, even someone like myself that plays this game an awful lot... Oh, is it? No, it's not in this one. Um, does lose thing, things from time to time. Here we go. Can we put these in? We can. There we go. That's what we were looking for. What have we got? We got a little bit of everything in here, so let's let's just kind of mix it up because we can place these on top of each other, which is quite a cool feature as well. You get yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Somebody needs to help this person out. Let's add a little bit of that for a splash of colour. My goodness! Whoever lives there is terrible. You can sort your garden out. I thought, to be honest, those uh, vines might have been in here somewhere, but they're not. And the last time I remember building them, I was building castle walls. So part of me was like, maybe... No, that's not castle, is it? 
Which one was it in? Was it the one? It might have been the castle wall in here. Is this the one? No. Yeah, it was these ones. I was building these, and that's the last time I used it, but I know it's nothing to do with this, so... Yeah, a little bit... A little bit annoying, to be honest with you. Okay, so... Where are we kind of at? Well, we need to put a train track through here. This was mostly done. No time-lapse today, by the way. We just, we're just going to play through. And um, maybe a time-lapse for the next episode. We've got the, uh, the barn here, which is being used. Okay. Have these got people in? They haven't. Let's... Let's do it. Let's let's produce some goods. We don't need to, but why not? And okay, yeah, you're producing some wine. Is this canteen and water pub meal? So this is more about meals than anything else, isn't it? We won't put anyone in there. It's pointless. Um, make honey, make beeswax. Again, no point. Not unless does the building actually come alive. If we do that, it might do. We're a little bit short of spare people, does it? No, it seemingly doesn't do anything, so we won't we won't bother. Not unless you can see something actually going on. It's I just don't think it's worth it. Okay, so we got these guys going on. I'm wondering if we should do some more like like this rickety fence. Or should we just let the, the grass kind of grow in or the, and, and wildlife grow around here? I think that's maybe what we're gonna do. So we've got this little market which they have not finished yet. I guess they're waiting on some stone. Um, let's spawn a few bits and pieces in. So we need some firewood. Need a little bit of stone. Tools are not too bad but we'll we'll drop some more in and we'll drop some cloves. There we are. I think this will look quite cool once it's done. And this, uh, this boat here has given up waiting. <laughs> it's like Ah, can't be bothered anymore. So I think we were going to look at uh, shipbuilding, if I remember rightly. I, I mentioned like a, a forester in the area. Well, if it's a ship, it's going to have to be on this side. But maybe, or maybe this side here, we can have a little bit of a, a lumber thing going on. What was we going to build here? I did say something originally. So we've got dock areas, main town. Oh, this is going to be the army area, wasn't it? Ooh. Maybe we can have it here. And still have the shipbuilding over here. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. And we will put a little bit of a shanty town in because that was mentioned. And I think that would be quite cool. I'm going to say shanty town, kind of like this, but obviously yeah, the one on the water. So we're almost 10 minutes in and uh, I'm just talking. Little action. So what sort of stuff have we got in here? Anything new? I'm sure the ships are under one of these. There's just so much stuff, it's unreal. building supplies. I mean, some of these buildings don't have to be exactly what we want, as long as they kind of fit what we're looking for. So we got this, so yeah. That's one. I think, do we build it on this side? We've got the river coming in here. I'm not going to be putting any quayside over this side, are we? So if we go for there. To be honest, in fact, we could build the forest here, but Hmm. I think we'll still build a bit of a shanty over here. And the thing is, if we put a forester in this area, it will fill this in for us. It's just picking the right trees. So what have we got? These are fruit trees, so we don't want that. A dense tree shack. Okay. Logging barge. This might actually look quite cool, but... We're not going to have proper key walls over here, so we can't use that. Hardwood forester, new trees. Hardwood forester... Mother tree? How beautiful is that? The mother of all trees. I guess that spawns trees. <laughs> I don't quite see the point of it, but that is nice. We might have a have a go at that. A tiny, ti tidy gardener. Tiny, I'm, I'm thinking of this, aren't I? Tiny gardener. Um, bamboo wood tree forester. Forester lodge palm trees. New trees. Okay, mini forester. Yep. garden shed. I kind of like that. Looks a little bit low key. But I think we'll go with this. Now it shouldn't plant anything on any of those roads which is quite cool. So if we can, if we're kind of crafty with it, if we place it somewhere around here, 
don't want it right on the doorstep of there, but somewhere like here now. That should fill all of this area in quite nicely. Well, if we assign some people, so let's t take the uh, the cut away. We have no spare people. Maybe now is the time to build those houses. Let's drop some people in. We got one person that's without a job. Dock worker, what was you doing that you're no longer doing? Hmm, pass. Let's drop some houses over here, I think. Uh, da -da -da -da, they're in here, aren't they? Yeah. It's a shame there's only a couple of types of these. I mean, there's different sizes, but... Yeah, there's not tons of uh, options. I think we might stick to the wood that we've used over here, though. The jetties from that area. Although we can place these on land as well, can't we? Let's place a couple just on land for the moment. We'll, we'll place these in a little bit more of a, a ragtag fashion. Like, not much planning kind of went into them. That land looks a little bit weird there. I don't know if it's... <laughs> yeah, I don't want them, like, perfect. Because as it's pointed out before, sometimes things just get, like, thrown up in any old fashion. And it'll look more interesting as well. And we'll we'll sprout it out into the water a little bit. We may be able to get them doing something else over here as well, but as part of this same community. Okay, so we've got that up and running. That's in here now. You should be able to have a couple of people working in there. Perfect. So that will fill this up nicely. I'm still thinking, because of the trees, they're going to get planted, that we should have some kind of wall or fence going around this area. Um... Sorry, I've got a really itchy nose, and I have a weird feeling my microphone is going to pick it up. So if it does, I apologise. We could... Do we go with this fence, or do we go with the broken fence? Maybe a slightly... Yeah, maybe this fence. What have we got? Greeny coloured one. Yeah, maybe this one. And purely because... I'm just thinking... The, the whole like area is n naturally owned by somebody or it's kind of um it, it's got some kind of authority so you know whether it be like a, a king or a queen or something like that or a president however you want to look at it uh, maybe they invest a little bit of money into certain things so they're not going to give these people nice houses you know that's for them to, to deal with themselves but the shipbuilding is kind of important to them to a degree so maybe they the forest area is kind of protected. That's just kind of my logic. So the fence is a uh, is here for that reason. And I know back back in the day, especially in this country, um, there was like the, obviously the king's land, and you weren't allowed in it. And if you went in it, you would obviously be killed. <laughs> so I'm just just wondering if we kind of follow a similar sort of pattern there. I don't know if we should. I'm going to come this way a little bit. How are we going to work this area? It doesn't blend into that very well. I mean, I have this fence. I could have used that fence. I think if we just kind of... Do something like that. So they've got access to it. That, at least the foresters, that is. They're going to walk wherever they want anyway because these fences are not going to stop them. So there's a little bit of uh, using your imagination here, I guess. And we will run the uh, stone road. Do, 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 do. It's the one we use. Oh, I like it when we can go all the way in. Don't be dirty. <laughs> I know if, uh, if Rachel's watching, I know how she'll take that. It's terrible. <laughs> there we are that, that will work quite nicely I know it's slightly wider on this side but I'm going to put some some stuff along the road in fact do we yeah do you know what I'm going to do it like that because I don't want anything growing in this area and I'm going to put some logs and some other decorative bits and pieces here and we might leave he kind of I don't know if the they will build directly or plant trees directly next to their house but just in case and then maybe if we kind of do something like this 
and we can drop in. I think, was there storage that looked like um, a toilet? I think there was, wasn't there? Could be something like that. Yeah, small storage. I think that one... Yeah, probably that one's best suits this building. Kind of looks like a, a privy to me, so we'll, we'll stick that in. Perfect. So we've got, we got lots of logs and stuff to put around here, I think. Um, we can make even like what would look like a stockpile over here as well, I suppose. I did kind of think about doing key walls here. Um, but key, key walls would be expensive and quite hard work, so I don't think we'll do it. But, and when I say expensive and hard work, I'm, I'm thinking of like how, how the town would see it. We could potentially just do wooden, kind of like jetties. And use that as, as kind of like a like a pier, I suppose. So if if we kind of do something like so, I don't want it too close to this. So maybe like that, and then just kind of have it going backwards. Although there's some of these that don't have the. Um, yeah, they don't have the the struts in them, so maybe is there one that just has them on two sides? No, that's a shame. Well, you wouldn't necessarily need the struts here because we're on land. So if we do this right, we have to remove these ones. Let's get them removed. And yeah. But if we kind of follow a pattern all the way around here, we could probably make this work. I mean, there is different stuff. I mean, potentially we've got storage on here, haven't we? Like a little markety thing. So we can kind of jazz it up with some of this stuff like that. Would look quite cool around here. We've got the uh, the well as well. Well as well. I've got to stop saying that. I say that an awful lot. <laughs> that is pretty cool, that building. I, I kind of know where I'm going with this. I think it's going to take a little bit of an imagination on your, your part. But I, I reckon if we kind of follow it all the way around just the edges here, maybe to about there, it's kind of like a, a poor man's key. That's, that's how I'm going to see it. But that's going to be removed anyway. So we'll let them do that. I feel like we should add something in here. Maybe Maybe that fence. We'll use, a, we'll use a brown one this time. And we'll leave a little bit of space there. So this is like slightly industrial. So we're going to put a little bit of a crane in here, I think. Which is in here. Yes. One of the uh, smaller ones, I think. The smaller ones, these ones, are the ones I probably use the most, I think. So if we put you, say, here, that can swing around and load some carts up and things like that. Speaking of which, are they in here? We got, oh yeah, boats. We need to put more boats and stuff. Can we put that directly underneath? Somewhere like that, yeah? Yeah. It's a shame that you can't do diagonals on some of these things as well. It, it would be pretty awesome. But the game kind of works in the way it works. and I should have said that's the way they've been designed. It's not the game itself. Uh, what have we got here? So stone, gravel. Excellent. We'll do a little bit of gravel in here. And then it's just things like, like crates and stuff, isn't it, really, I suppose? I don't want to get too repetitive with the same sorts of decora decorations. Uh, help if we were in the ghost objects here. So this is mostly fish, isn't it, this area? Oh, it's gone through the uh, fence a little bit. Never mind. So I'm thinking, I mean, what would fish be st stored in? I'm thinking of, like, in modern days, it sounds like styrofoam uh, things, isn't it? But they wouldn't have had that. So would it be barrels or cases or what? I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah, we can have some great. It could just be a generic storage for the area. This looks quite good, actually. I really like that. Um, some logs as well, I suppose. 
There's other log decorations, I believe, in here somewhere. So we have to have a, a route around, I think. Yeah, they might be under a slightly different mod as well. There is that. Nothing here. Some boats, maybe. I, I, I know I'm kind of like moving around a little bit and working on several different bits and pieces, but... I'm just doing whatever comes to, into my mind at that stage. I feel like this needs kind of fencing off as well. Yeah, let's go back with our green fence. Uh, which was this one. So I think if we... Yeah, that works quite nicely. We'll leave a little bit of space. I'm probably going to have to plant my own trees over here. I mean, I could put a forest in to do it, but I'm going to have to put my own decoration in. There we go. Not everything needs fencing off, obviously, but sometimes it just works. And once, like I say, all the, the trees and shrubbery are in, it's gonna, it'll make a little bit more sense, I think. And like I say, maybe they're just not allowed in the area. Go across here. I think we might continue this stone all the way across here. It is raising the terrain, but I don't believe it's raising it enough. So we might have to tweak this a little bit, if it will allow me. Yeah, it's pretty straight, but I think it, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, perfect. So I think we'll have to plant our own trees. We'll, we'll use the same sort of trees that, that are naturally occurring. We could even drop some like deposits of um, iron and stone in as well, which comes under... I don't know if it works on the ghost objects. Um, where is it? Was it this one? That's... Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Look, so... We can't. And we got the iron in there as well. I don't know if it comes to this one too. No, it isn't the small one. So we can't... We've got to do a lot of... Um, Pushing of the F key, but there. So we, we could make it look as natural as the game would usually have it. Which I think is pretty awesome. Um, where's the grass roads? Let's go with this one. Oh, it's so annoying when I can't get underneath these things. Although this road might be similar to some of the squares, so we might be able to, to, to figure it out. Come through here. I just want it a little bit more of a, of a deeper colour. Or at least maybe it's th that it's been trampled on a little bit. I think that's pretty much everything. Excellent. Wow, we're getting lots of trees planted. Have they done this yet? No. Oh, firewood. Remind me to do a chopper. I keep talking about it in almost every episode and we never do it. This looks almost... I don't even feel like I need to add anything else in there. It looks just about right for me. Are they planting the trees that would grow around here? I think they are. Oh yeah, the jetty. So I apologise if this is going a little bit too slow as well, because um, like not every episode is going to be time-lapsed. So hopefully um, you're somewhat enduring <laughs> what I'm doing. I feel like we only need these stilts when it comes out too far. And maybe I should have done something like. Can we? I wonder if they're separate. Are they are they're higher ones. We got a lower jetty, so we could even bring it down, couldn't we? To a lower point. Interesting. Diagonal jetty parts, storage module used with jet. Okay. Yeah, I'm oh that is nice. I don't know if I want to play with this if it's under if it's beta, because that kind of makes me a little bit worried. But w maybe we'll try it later on. Because beta usually means something's gonna break. Put you like that. Just a nice small one in there. So just on the outside edge, I think should have the the stilts. 
I don't know. I'll, you'll have to let me know what you think. I think it might look good, especially if I can put some of the decorations and, and cranes and stuff on there. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, so let me just double check. Yeah. So we can have we can have some cranes and we can put lights, benches. We can put all sorts of stuff on there. So I think that might actually look quite cool. Oh, they have put those in. I wasn't sure if they'd if they'd put the stone in or not, but they have. Oh, oh yeah, and John said he didn't like these. I'm going to remove them, but I don't know if we should keep the one above the uh, fountain. What do you think? Not that anyone would be washing their clothes late at night, but it feels like it has a legitimate purpose for being there, so let me know what you think. Some of these gardens still need a few bits and pieces, I think. And over here, I think we should definitely... I mean, we could just... We could do the, like, the gravel that we've done here, rather than it being... Well, let's do the stone road first, which was here. In fact, that might look quite good just across there. I think we should come across there one more with this piece. Uh, it was a decorational piece, wasn't it? That's a diagonal one. That might help. Like so. And can we put that underneath? We can. In fact, we could be a little bit clever and just have it in a few of the spaces there. And then this bit, we I think we should go with the gravel. I don't think we use that. Was it under dirt? No. Wood chip. Hmm. I thought it was in here. Is it that one, maybe? Maybe it was. Yeah, I think it is. I don't want it looking too much, if you know what I mean. So we'll continue with the uh, the green fence along here. Like so. Because we don't want anyone falling in, of course. That gives us a little bit of space to put some other bits and pieces in. Yeah, it's coming together quite nice. Let me just stick the uh, game on times 10 for a little bit. Which is going to give these guys time to plant a few more trees. And it also gives me a chance to see what some of this stuff looks like. I think naturally the game may grow some stuff here anyway. Actually, do you know what? That blends in quite well. So I don't think we actually need to worry about this. I mean, you are going to slightly see the uh, the straight line. But I can put some little plants and things into to disguise that. I think oh we need ah we need to do the green fence along here too. Not paying attention. I'm not there. <laughs> I really hate it when I misclick. It's one of the most annoying things. Oh, the season's changed. I can see some uh, kind of a fuchsia coloured fuchsia orange. I don't know. Colour coming up. Yeah, they're getting busy with the trees. I th I don't want them ever to chop them down. I don't think. They naturally die on their own anyway. And this is starting to fill in. Is that anything to do with them? It is. I think that's quite cool. Anyway, I think on that note, I'm going to leave this episode right here. We've only done... Well, I don't feel like I've done much. But I feel like it's starting to make the area come alive a little bit. I think once this fills in, just a few... Well, it's going to be a little bit of a time lapse, I think, isn't it? Doing all these like nitty gritty little bits around here. And I guess there's some of the finishing touches over there. And then maybe a few little bits on the main town, I think. Just because that's going to be a big project. I don't want to tackle it in one, like, huge go. Because that will probably drain the life out of me. So if we kind of to and fro, I think that would be quite cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. But until next time, as always, take care. <laughs>